The fifth element on the periodic table of elements is boron. This is Norse Teaches Science with me, Mr. Norse, another physical science edition video. And today I'm going to be talking about types of mixtures. So your goal for this video is that I can, I, I can classify mixtures based on physical and chemical properties. So types of mixtures, you remember mixtures is one of the classifications of matter and it can be heterogeneous or homogeneous and it's when things are combined. Uh, mixtures are types of mixtures are based off the size of the largest particles um, a mixture can is how it's classified. Um, so you have three main types. You have suspensions, which are heterogeneous. You have colloids, which are heterogeneous, and you have solutions, which are homogeneous. All right, suspension mixtures. Suspension mixtures is a mixture that separates into layers over time. If you look in this top picture, here's a layer, here's another layer, here's a layer. Or here we see when we do sand or soil, when we try to separate soil, we, it does separate into the clay, the silt, and the sand levels. I, it's heterogeneous because we can see, since we can see the layers, we can see the makeup. This is usually for large particles, and if you shine light into it, it will scatter light. So on other examples like oil and water, if you have oil and water together, they don't mix. Oil stays right on the top so you can see the layers, and muddy water will separate into its layers as well. A colloid mixture is a mixture with intermediate-sized particles. These particles will not settle out into layers like the last, like um, suspensions. It's heterogeneous and it experiences something called the Tyndall effect. And we're going to talk about that on the next slide. Uh, examples are like paint, fogs, um, milk, smoke, foam, butter, and mayo. What the Tyndall effect is, is when you shine a light into it, the light scatters and kind of fans out. And this uh, effect was not created, but discovered by a guy named John Tyndall. A solution mixture is when one substance dissolves in another completely. So it's a homogeneous mixture. They look like one thing. The particles will not sell out and the particles will not, and the solution will not scatter light. So salt water, when you dissolve salt in water, it creates a solution. Uh, sugar water, Kool-Aid, Bright, all of these are going to be more of um, homogeneous. And we can separate mixtures. Remember, mixtures have to be able to be separated um, easily. Doesn't mean that you can just pick out stuff. That's one way. But there's a couple ways. Uh, filtering, filtering is for suspensions only. It's like using a coffee filter or how your water is purified. Evaporation, that works for all three types. Um, distillation, it works on all three types, and it's based off boiling point. And if you didn't know, side note, distillation is one of the processes into making alcoholic beverages. Um, you're not, I'm not going to teach you how to do it, but it is a process. And um, chromography is a, for solutions only. Um, you can see this bottom picture. You can spread out the ink in a pen and see how the colors work out. This is some, this is one of the techniques they use um, in forensic science uh, when they're trying to get evidence and figure out stuff. They use chrom chromatography. And this is a little bit about the different types of mixtures. I hope that um, it will work well for you to understand it. Um, Hope you learned something today, and I'm Mr. Norris, and I'm out for this video.